The sequencer consists of 8 equal modules, which are the arm units and a central head unit. Everything can be accessed by pressing or rotating the buttons of each module. Use the left button to navigate vertically and the right button to move horizontally. Pressing the buttons will enter and access menus. If you use the internal clock, you can start and stop the sequencer by pressing both buttons at the same time. If you use an external clock, this will have no effect on your playback, but mute or unmute the sequencer. Using the central head unit, you can easily access more channel settings like velocity or timing variations. You can store and load your presets on an internal SD card and change the playback behavior of the sequencer. Finally, you can adjust further settings like MIDI configurations, adjust internal as well as external clock settings or configure your CV outputs. Each arm unit shows the current Euclidean pattern as in geometric figure. Four parameters are used to describe the Euclidean pattern. All parameters are shown in the lower part of the display. Rotate the buttons to change the parameters. You can switch the selected parameter by pressing the button once. A full bar is divided into a certain amount of beats, which is described by the total amount of beats parameter. You can rotate the Euclidean pattern using the rotation parameter. You can change the pitch of the module using the pitch parameter. Finally, you can select the number of active beats. You can access more settings if you keep the buttons pressed. Depending on a selected parameter, you can change the playback speed of the module, trigger chord notes or mute an arm unit. At the top of the display, you will find the module name and the assigned mute groups from 1 to 3. Mute groups can be used to mute multiple arm units at the same time. The head unit offers three menus to further configure the sequencer. Inside of the modules menu, you can mute, unmute, solo or invert all modules which are assigned to a certain mute group. You can access detailed module settings by selecting the desired unit. Here you can change the name of the module. You can also change the velocity of the module or add some randomized variance to the selected velocity. In this case, the velocity will vary between 80 to 120. You can even make the sound more dynamic by changing the timing variance. This will influence the timing of your modules and make the sound more dynamic and human. Finally, you can assign up to three mute groups to a single arm unit. Using the presets menu, you can manage, load and store your presets on an internal SD card. You can use up to 10 banks, each with 16 slots, giving you the opportunity to store up to 160 presets in total. Here, you can also access the different playback modes of the sequencer. By changing split mode, you can define how many modules will play simultaneously. Starting with all modules at the same time, you can play only the first four modules followed by the second four modules, only pairs and finally single modules. In floating pitch mode, you can change the pitch of all modules at the same time using an external MIDI input. Two modes, Continuous and Retrigger, define how the sequencer should react when it receives MIDI information. The sequencer allows you to store the wanted MIDI output channel together with your preset. This, for example, allows you to play with multiple MIDI devices in live performances without changing MIDI configurations. Finally, the Settings menu allows you to adjust your MIDI input and MIDI through configuration. You can either use an external clock or the provided internal clock and select your wanted playback speed in beats per minute. Using the send clock option, you can use the sequencer to send timing information to other devices using the MIDI output. Finally, the load presets and count bar settings allow you to define how new presets should be loaded or how the sequencer should behave if mute states are changed. You can load presets immediately or wait for a certain amount of full bars, allowing you to smoothly change between presets. Here, you can also configure your CV and gate outputs to integrate the sequencer in your modular systems.